All right. Uh, well, hello, everyone. My name is Chase McCarter, and I'm a PhD candidate in the history department here at UNM. Um, Dr. Pryor has invited me to give a lecture for your class. As I understand it, you are all in a point in the class or will be soon, which you're talking about reactions to the Civil War. So for this lecture, I'm going to be talking about reactions to the end of the Civil War, and in particular, Confederate reactions to defeat. And we're specifically going to look at uh, the Confederate expatriation movement to Latin America following the end of the U.S. Civil War. So the Confederate expatriation movement to Latin America began in the summer of 1865 and extended to the early 1870s. Historians think that around 10,000, maybe more, maybe less, former Confederates uprooted their families and immigrated to Latin American countries such as Brazil, Mexico, Venezuela, Cuba, Argentina, and British Honduras, which is present-day Belize, um, as a result of Confederate defeat in the U.S. Civil War. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the term expatriation, which I, I certainly was uh, until I started working on this topic, let me quickly define the concept so we have an understanding of it uh, going forward throughout the remainder of the lecture. There are many examples of individuals or groups of people expatriating from their home countries to other nations throughout history. Even today, you may hear people talk about leaving their country of origin for another place because of political or economic reasons that they may not agree with. And so what they're talking about is expatriation or voluntarily removing themselves from their country of origin to live abroad somewhere else. Expatriation can be temporary, meaning people remove themselves for a limited period of time until a political or economic situation in their country of origin progresses to a situation they're liking. In other cases, people have expatriated themselves permanently with no intention of ever returning to their country of origin. Now, the latter type of expatriation, that is the intention to live permanently outside of your home country, is the type of expatriation that defined the Confederate expatriation movement to Latin America after the U.S. Civil War. Uh, certainly, there were hundreds of uh, former Confederates who left the South for other parts of the globe after defeat. Uh, they went to places such as Europe, the Middle East, and Asia, but they really didn't have any intention of staying there permanently. They always intended to return eventually to the United States. But what's unique about the thousands of former Confederates who immigrated to Latin America after the Civil War is that these people never really intended to return to the United States. Uh, in other words, they decided that Latin America, wherever they went in Latin America, that would be their new home. So there's a handful of questions and themes that we're gonna explore throughout the remainder of this lecture, and I have them kind of listed out here. But the first question slash theme we're going to look at in this lecture is why did former Confederates flee the U.S. South for Latin America in the aftermath of the Civil War? So we're going to look at really what were the main motivations? Why did people uproot their families and leave a, uh, leave a place where they had lived most of their life for countries where they were unfamiliar with the language and culture? And then the second question so last thing we're going to look at is why did ex-Confederates choose Latin America specifically? And then we're going to look at why they chose certain Latin American nations over others. As I mentioned before, ex-Confederates really went all over the globe. So we're going to look at the main reasons why they chose Latin America over other places. The third thing we're going to look at is what were the experiences of ex-Confederates once they arrive, arrived at their destination of choice? You know, what was living abroad, again, in this culture uh, that you were unfamiliar with, like after spending, you know, the majority of your life in the U.S. South. And then finally, we're going to look at why these people and their decision to leave the South after the Civil War is important, and then what are some of their legacies. <clears throat> 